Hello beautiful people, so here it is the requested video that you all have been asking for that is how to make a merge request on GitLab. Before jumping to the demo part, I want all you to know what is GitLab. So if you go to this website called about.gitlab.com and scroll down, you will see that GitLab is a complete DevOps platform. Okay, so it may sound to GitHub very similar, but it's not. It is for DevOps. And if you know DevOps, then it's great. And if you don't, then do let me know in the comments if you want to know it. And I will make that video for you. Okay. So I will not be going too deep in this uh, part, but I will directly jump into the demo part now so before contributing you must have a gitlab account so you can sign in if you have already an account and if you don't you can sign up to this platform and it's pretty easy okay i have already signed in so it's redirecting redirecting me to that website so creating an account is very easy i won't include in this video okay next is it will directly uh, show me the projects i have on gitlab and you can see i have three projects uh, number one is my personal project and the others i have contributed to so i have contributed to gitlab qa and gitlab so uh, the merge request for uh, i have been awarded an a mug so it was GitLab Q and in this video I will show you how to make a merge request so I'll go to uh, my project and it is very the process is very similar to making a pull request uh, in github okay so first we have to clone the repository you can either choose SSH or HTTPS the procedure of uh, using the HTTPS is quite simple, so I will use that for your convenience. So the first thing you need to do is clone the repository in your local system. So to do that, we need to do is git clone and paste the URL that you have just copied. And it is now cloning and it's cloned okay so the next thing is switch to that repository and I will I can see that what files are included in this project so there is only one file for now that is readme.md file and if I have an idea for like uh, updating some feature in this project or if this project has some errors or anything like that so we can make a merge request so to do that we need to change that file first so it is written over here this is my merge request demo for youtube and if i want to change this that this tutorial is by Seema Saharan. Okay, so I will save that file and now I will make another branch. Okay, so to do that, we already know that how to create a new branch. So if you don't know this procedure, make sure to watch that video. I will link this, link that video that how to make a pull request on GitHub. And I have explained all the procedure, all the commands in deep. And I'm just showing you that how it works on GitLab. So the procedure is really similar. All the commands are similar. So just watch that video if you don't understand or if you have any doubt regarding the commands. So the next thing is git add period git commit and write down the commit message that is 
updated readme file okay and the next is git push origin the branch name and it will ask you for the username so i'll just insert the username and then the password and it will now push the changes to the branch that is sema and i if i check here if i refresh this here you can see that it is showing me create merge request you pushed to sema that is my branch name at sema saran that is my username slash my project name and just now so i'll just create my merge request and if you want to change the title of this uh, of this message that was the commit message and if you want to add any description that what it changes what changes you have made what features are you, have you used anything if you want to add though these you can do that too and just submit merge request and it's done yes your merge request is done and i'll just merge that so it's merged now so before merging it was the contributors and this part was for the maintainers of that project okay so don't confuse with that and gitlab platform can be really confusing if you are a first time user it was very confusing for me as well i spend about a week uh, knowing that how does this platform works and asking the other community members that how can i make a merge request or anything because i didn't know about making a pull request or a merge request so it was my first time contribution ever so it took me a it took me more than the usual time okay and now that i have shared my knowledge to you all it will be very easy for you to make a merge request and if you do then make sure just make sure to let me know because whenever i receive those messages that i did contributions open source contribution just because of your video or your guidance it makes me happy i am not asking for you any money uh, i'll just need the feedback what am i doing is it giving something to the community am i doing right or not so that's it i want your feedback even if it's bad do let me know if my videos are worthless do let me know i will make them useful for you all So thank you for watching this video if you like this video then do share with your friends do like my videos and comments and i would love to see your feedback i would love to see you growing as a contributor so may the source be with you